we going? <laughs> you know why I'm here. I want them sneakers. Okay. Okay, well, um, I got a question for you. Did you work on your free throws, or you still got that granny style? <laughs> she got chokes, yeah, okay. Don't make us start counting down your shots. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I, I worked on my shots, and I'm okay. back, so I'm ready. Let's oh, get it. All right, you hear him, Sabine. Uh-huh. Get ready to drain some free throws. <laughs> okay. Well, let me go get my sweat.
Yeah, I mean, I really didn't think I was gonna lose, but congratulations. I'm glad you're not a sore loser, but thank you. I really appreciate it. Um, what's up with them kids? Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I said you did good, but calm down, calm right, down. You know, I gotta say, I like that you're all about the culture. Uh huh. So, uh, so what's it gonna be? Retro a limited edition. Animal? No, whoa, 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 whoa. We don't keep them on us. Uh -huh. I'm not trying to get run up on in these streets. We'll drop them off at your office. And uh, speaking of drop, you better make sure you drop 50 when you pull up to that game because uh, we got a rep to maintain. Yes. That's it. That's easy. But hey, always a pleasure doing business with you ladies. Yeah, right? yeah. Right. Until gonna, next time. Enjoy the rest of your day, all right? You're uh -huh. gonna look sick in those shoes. I know. Yo, MP! <laughs> What's going on, What's man? up, man? Oh, I'm chilling. Oh, I gotta tell you. Yeah, yeah. You were giving them the business last I, night. I, I did a little. <laughs> I did I, man. But hold on, hold on, hold on. Your hands, bro. Where you get those from? Those joints are fire. You like this? Yeah. These the, <laughs> these the Kion uh, specials. Kion yeah, <laughs> specials. I made these joints myself. For real? Hey, yeah. man, you should be selling those, man, not being behind this counter. Uh, I appreciate that, but... This is my mom's shot. This oh, is okay. important to me. It's beyond important. For sure, for sure. Hey, man, family business, I fully respect that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we grew up homos, and she taught me how to sew, so kids used to clown me for wearing homemade stuff, mm -hmm. and she made them fresh.
Guess I better stick to making pants. Ah, oh, come on. Don't be hard on yourself, man. Hey, that's what I do for a living, brother. Come the deal's on. a deal, bro. Got a couple of designs I've been working on. Check out these sketches. Ooh, I like these, especially this one. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, dope, man. Let me get to work, and I'll send them over when they're done. I appreciate it, man. And good luck with your spot, bro. Thanks, man. MP, I want to chat with you for a minute. What's up, coach? I've just been reading.
Let's go, Spurs! Let's get this win! Well, you got to expect a low-scoring game tonight, Grant. Two terrific defensive clubs fighting to lock each other down. Both these teams are elite on the defensive end. These guys won't be making it easy out there. When there's lots of stops, lots of forced turnovers, it can be very difficult to find a scoring rhythm. And that gets us rolling. Whew, what a tremendous atmosphere in here tonight. And sometimes getting that first bucket puts momentum in your corner, but we'll just have to see. Now here's MP. Hits the trifecta. And this is just fun. These teams are trading threes back and forth. This is today's NBA. Hey, we see this kind of exchange more often than not. Sexton misses. Now here's Johnson. Pass to Wimanyama. The three. Two shots, two makes. Off to a good start. As his career has progressed, Johnson has really improved as a playmaker. Clarkson passes to Jones. And Utah calls time here. And when you think of the time... Over a minute gone here in the first quarter. Marketing the pass to Jones. Clarkson left side fires the three. He can't get it to go. San Antonio goes the other way with it. Johnson was part of that U.S. team that played in 2021. Man, what a great experience, Grant. Oh, B.A., I mean, I can speak in great detail how much you can gain playing for the U.S. team. Johnson continued to grow as a player after that summer and was a great addition to that team as well. Here's Clarkson following the bucket by the Spurs. Pass to Markkinen. The shot to stop the run, and he sinks the layup. Markkinen's got five now. Some real toughness from Markkinen. Powers through the contact, then has the focus and touch to finish. MP, the pass to Johnson. And here's MP from outside. Rebounded by the Jazz. And going against San Antonio, their first meeting of the year. Even though they had the better roster, they actually lost the season series to this team last year. They get it back. Count that bucket. San Antonio has gone two for three from outside the arc. Sexton against MP. Pass to Bates Diop. MP outside. The three is up. His fourth make in five tries. Solid start for him. That makes him four out of five. He's getting to his spots and just going to work right now. Here's Sexton. And he's going to the line for two. The his mindset. Con Sexton, he has zero fear. His game is translated well from college. Sexton is explosive and thrives in more of an open style. MP against Sexton. Puts the move on. Umanyama, no good. Had enough room to finish, and that's one he'll usually make. First quarter of play, and we're about three minutes in. Outside Jones. Marketin right side. Six on the shot clock. Clarkson for three. And another miss by Utah. San Antonio's gone three of four on threes here in this first quarter. MP outside. No good from outside. Utah trailing here. 
Just under three and a half minutes elapsed here in the first quarter. Well, some trips you get the shot you want, it just doesn't fall. I'd go back to him in that area on the floor. Fires for three. And that one goes. He's now recorded his fifth bucket in eight tries. The defense is nowhere to be found guarding the three-point shot. MP against Sexton. Over MP. Sexton misses. San Antonio's gone four of six from deep to start this game. MP up top. Checked by Sexton. And Wimbanyama gets it to go. His shooting has been fantastic. And this team has leaned on him. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. Here's Sexton. Gets it to go from eight feet. He picks the exact right moment to get himself a clear line to the basket. MP against Sexton. Pass to Bates Dia. Back to MP. Fires the three. And again, it's the Spurs from deep. And the defense is really allowing them too much room on the perimeter. The Jazz have gone 4 of 10 shooting the rock in this first quarter. Clarkson outside. There's the drive. And down it goes. Jam that one home. And what an aggressive move to the rim. He's really trying to fire up his teammates right now. Boy, it's not hard to feel inspired after a teammate makes that kind of finish. And that could be the spark they needed to make a little run as they try to even this thing up. Now here's Sexton. We saw him with 11 points in his last game. Down low. Three-pointer. Oh, ho ho MP with a block. And he's able to get it back. And there's Clarkson. That one's good. On the assist by Sexton. And that's what they want to do. Get him open looks early. MP with it. Guarded by Olenek. And again, it's the Spurs from deep. Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. The Jazz have gone 6 of 13 so far in this one. Pass to Markkanen. Here's Olenek. Back to Markkanen. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Markkanen's got his third basket on the night right there. Pounding it inside early and often, setting a physical tone. Back to MP. There's the triple. On target from range. MP's got 25 points. For Utah, they've gone 7 of 14 and looking in control. I mean, there are some great guys in this league. Coach Greg Popovich sticks out. Just a tremendous person. I loved competing against his teams. On offense, here is San Antonio. 11 point game. Three pointer. And again, it's the Spurs from deep. 12 straight points off threes. This defense is not extending very well. Coach Pop, the NBA all-time leader in wins. Any memories facing off with his Spurs? Well, I always knew that his teams would play hard. They'd be prepared. They played the right way. And, of course, they exemplified the toughness and character of their leader, Coach Pop. Done with a steal. Out to the right wing. Olenek for three. And that one makes him two for two. He's in his rhythm. This is that modern big man play. Tall guys who are comfortable draining shots from deep. Here's Wimbanyama. He takes it in. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. MP's got 30 points. Clutch buckets. He's paving the way as they hit the home stretch. And that streaking rack attack is the mobile one drive. Yeah, taking the onus on himself to make something happen. Got it into the teeth of the defense and made them pay. Pass to Abaji from deep. The offensive rebound. Takes a three. The rebound by the Spurs. Their last game, a win against the Magic. Looking to carry it into this one. 
and most of the arena was totally against them. But they looked inward, trusted each other, and made good plays. Even with all that noise, when they had the ball, it never rattled them. Their offense was in tune like it was a home game. And he has flat out taken over this quarter. Keep feeding the beast. Pass to Olenek. Gay outside. Here's Horton Tucker. And he banks in the layup. And you like the balance here. Not just falling out. Here. Keep the shots coming, Keep them coming. At an annual ritual, players finding out their ratings at NBA 2K. All right, Richard, you were customarily happy with your rating, yes? I didn't really care, but a part of my condition of working for 2K is they said that they will retroactively change my rating to 100. The first 100 players. You deserve it, man. K debates Diop out there with Keldon Johnson. Then there's Zach Collins. Then it's MP. That's who's in the game for the Spurs. Here's Wimbanyama. And MP throws it down. What a finish. I mean, he just took over himself. What a show of power right there from the point guard. Man, sweet. A point guard getting up like that? Boy, that is special. And Utah has possession. After the basket by San Antonio. Sexton misses. Oh, man, that's tough. That's definitely one he'd like back. Almost too wide open. Thanks. Well, MP in their last game against the Magic was a man on a mission. He picked up 54 points and was on point from deep. He put up huge numbers last time out. We'll see if it's more of the same tonight. Guys? Thanks, Allie. Absolutely. He was a one-man show in that one, Grant. Yeah, he was not going to let them lose that game. We'll see if he comes in with that same mentality tonight. And I'll be interested to see if the opposition looks to double him because this should open up opportunities for his teammates to get going. Here's Wimbanyama. The Jazz making their last shot. Here he goes. Banked it in off the glass. MP's got 39. And the defense has no one to blame but themselves. I mean, they just let him get right to the rim. That's a great possession. Put your best players in a position to succeed. Clarkson. Collins with the rebound. Collins has got his seventh rebound here tonight. MP against Sexton. Women Yama, no good. The Jazz have gotten five of seven shots to fall in the second. Clarkson up top. Pass to Markinen. Another basket. He's now six for seven in the contest. They're punishing those late defensive rotations, getting good looks inside throughout the half. I mean, Jordan Clarkson is huge in the Philippines. His family with roots there, traveling out to Manila with NBA Cares, drawing huge crowds. Collins with the rebound. For San Antonio, they've gotten 7 of 13 attempts to go here in the second. And Clarkson in 2018 suited up for the Philippines national team. NBA Clarkson's NBA games are a must-watch in the Philippines. Kids watching Clarkson's games in the morning before heading to school. They say, forget the cartoons, we want to watch hoops. Obviously, this guy has a talent for scoring. Able to problem solve for whatever the defense tosses at him. Here's Wimbanyama driving to the basket. Lays it up and in despite excellent defense. MP's got 46. If they're going to go on a run, Grant, there's no better time than right now. You're so right, B.A. I think they definitely expected a closer game than this. San Antonio's gone 2 of 5 from distance here in the second quarter. And they double up MP. Stolen by Jones. Right side, Sexton. That doesn't go either for Sexton. Couldn't quite line that one up. Just got to shake it off and move on to the next one. From deep, MP. The rebound by the Jazz. 
defeated by Washington in their last game. They'll try to put that one behind them. Defensively, they weren't up to the task. Didn't play as a cohesive unit, and it really hurt them. Boy, they looked like they were asleep on that end of the floor. No one was talking. No one was paying attention. It was rough. Puts up a three. Jones grabs the board. Jones has got five rebounds in the game. Sexton passes to Jones over MP. And another miss by Utah. The Spurs shooting 53% here in the second quarter. Oh, and the dunk by MP. Look at what he's doing here, and it's hard to imagine him playing much better. Sexton against MP. Inside. And he takes the fantastic lead pass up strong for the slam. He's just looking to find shots and produce for his team. Massey, he's checked in for San Antonio. Lankford comes in for Bates Diop. Olenek's checked in for Utah. Gordon Tucker comes in for Clarkson. Good. He hits again. <laughs> My goodness. 50 for the game. Just putting on a show. MP against Sexton. And there's the drive. He hits it. His fourth make in 10 tries. And credit his teammates for feeding him all quarter. And for San Antonio, they're shooting very well. 62% and going right at the defense. Some solid defense from Sexton. Utah with the ball. Down by 15. Right side Olenek. Fires from deep. Rebound San Antonio. <laughs> and I'm surprised that didn't go down. I mean, I'm sure he is too. The drive by MP. And another one. <laughs> That's 52 points for him. Making it all look too easy right now. A minute and a half left in the first half of this game. Here's Markkinen. And yes, it's good. He's seven for eight now. He's bringing a lot of energy to this offense, not letting the scoreboard discourage him right now. He's going to keep putting up shots regardless of the score. That's the kind of player he is. Ooh, he's been the guy tonight. Really impressive performance. Utah has gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. Pass to Abaji. Here's Horton Tucker. Screen by Olenek. Just four to shoot. Horton Tucker can't hit. MP against Sexton. MP outside. There's 31 seconds left to play in the second quarter. Basket counts. MP's got 56 in the game. That's 10 straight points they've given up in the painted area. Huh. Sexton with it. Now guarded by MP. Sexton misses. Yeah, we're not used to seeing him get bottled up like that. Wow. Johnson passes to MP. Driving in. Another one goes. Incredible. <laughs> this game has his name written all over it. He has been phenomenal. An offensive onslaught. The three from Sexton. Oh, and the release was before the buzzer, but it's off target. And so the San Antonio Spurs, they're feeling great. A 21-point lead. Their efficiency has been off. Hey, folks. The Jet here was named Player of the Week back in 1991. Yeah, that's right. That... And now, looking back on that first half, things were really clicking out there for the San Antonio Spurs. They feasted from three so far. Couldn't Thanks for joining us. Time to head back over to the third quarter with Brian Anderson.
And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly in the second. Now MP. What an incredible scoring display he's putting on tonight. Kick it off the second half. Here's Will Hardy's five. Lori Markman it out there with Kelly Olynyk. Jones in at the five, roaming the paint. RJ, you're in the middle of a few trades in your career, to put it lightly. What's that like as a player to get moved around so much? Thanks for bringing that up so sweetly, Brian. I appreciate that. Look, there's pros. This. It's nice to know that another organization wants you for whatever reason, but it's also tough to leave an organization that you had a connection to, the fan base. But eventually you figure it out. Takes one from 10 feet. Here's Olenek. And the layup is good off the glass. Olenek's got seven points. Hard work pays off with a rebound and a bucket. That's just great fundamentals. Wimanyama. And again. That's 62 points. 62. Amazing. A remarkable performance from him so far. Sexton against MP. Oh, great D that time from MP. Well, the Spurs shooting continues to impress. 65% from the field. Oh, connects again. Oh, he's been absolutely ridiculous in this game. The B.A., it feels like he can't miss. Now here's Clarkson. Not a lot of room. And that one drops for him. Nine points in the game. One side is dominated tonight. Yeah, they've done a fantastic job of imposing their pace and style of play. Here's Wimanyama. No good. Oh, Lenick with some nice... D. For Utah, they've gotten two of four shots to go since the break. To the inside. Sexton misses. Yeah, just hasn't been able to find his rhythm offensively. And that's having a ripple effect. Here's Wimanyama. Count it. Good. Yeah, their defense is starting to wear down. That's three.
MP, you've got a package from Yolanda and Sabine. Uh, this is awful. Oh, I, I know what that means. I, I, Let me get I that. slow your roll. I might just like to pretend I'm an astronaut. Who's also a giant? Yeah. I don't... Yeah, see, look. Houston, mm. this is Mission Control. Astronauts We're beginning our that. descent down into the cityscape. Mm -mm. The people of this metropolitan area are much tinier than expected. Okay, while well, we're waiting for Ricky to touch down, teed up, just sent over the cover. Do you want to see it? Of course. Oh, that's when I was pretending to be a bunny. What? I don't want that one. <laughs> don't worry about it. It looks great. Early buzz in the article is real positive. I think you actually managed to change some minds. All and right. you did it all on your own. I sure did. <laughs> Negative mission control. He did have some help. Well, I did work with a lot of very talented still people. Going. Um, um, excuse me. I was talking about us. Bro, you weren't at the studio. <laughs> uh, uh, check the mission reports and you will see that every single one of us was there. Do we have okay. a spirit, sir? How about we plant spirit. that flag? Are you guys ready? Okay, well, wait. Permission requested to plant the flag. Uh, permission granted, yes. Sir Ricky. Go ahead. Yes, sir? Phew, mission accomplished. The flag has been planted. <laughs> nice work, MP. Hey, Thank now that's just one small step for MP, but one giant leap for mankind. Stop.
So, what do you think? Wow. I mean, I'm loving it. The pants, the shoes, everything. Yep, now all I need is a shirt to go with it. I mean, I've been working on some designs, but see...
until next time, peace and love, my peeps and lovelies. Hey, excuse me, excuse me. Madison C? I don't do autograph. We should start out doing the sweetie slide. It's basically my first dance to go viral, and it's almost two years old, so it's totally retro. I didn't even think it was going to be popular at all. I just posted it, and I was like, I guess I'll go to school now. And then in third period, all of a sudden, Becca Jones, who is the worst, but also kind of my best friend. Anyway, she's all like, everyone's talking about the sweetie slide. And I'm like, OK, so what? The whole class is talking about it. And she's like, no, the whole planet is talking about it. And I was like, what? Because sometimes she exaggerates. And she's all like, seriously. Like, This is good. Okay, so the sweetie slide uh -huh. is my first dance. It's not just the moves, it's the attitude. attitude. I want you to think cute. I want you to think adorable. I want you to be a total sweetie. Okay, total sweetie. Mess this up for me and I will destroy you. Let's go. Ignoring all these because my energy is priceless. That was a total nostalgia trip. I feel like a kid again. So crazy. Okay, so this next dance, I don't know. We should do something more modern. What's that movie with the puppets about Christmas? My dad used to make me watch it. Anyway, there was like a ghost from the past and the present and the future. We should do that, except not with ghosts because ghosts are like really played out right now. So we're skeletons. But like we just did a past thing, so we should do a present and a future thing. That would be so cool. <laughs> I love when my dances have like a deeper meaning to them. I think that's what separates me from some of the other online dancers. Like my work can be viewed over and over again and people get a new appreciation each time. Like the first time, they might think her hair looks so good. And then the second time they think, oh, she has such a cool personality. And then the third time they think, wow, her dancing is making me reconsider all my unhealthy life choices. It's really like fine art, you know? I'm like the Picasso of dance videos, except not as eccentric. <laughs> oh, that place looks good. Okay. So this dance is something I just came up with yesterday. Okay. It's already pretty much the most popular thing I've ever done. What? You what? are very lucky that I'm letting you do this with me. <laughs> I feel very lucky. I know, right? about doing dance videos because you're actually not bad at it. You're not the best, but you've only been doing it for a few minutes and it almost took me three weeks to master, so there's nothing to be ashamed of. I don't think you're totally on my level yet.
forcing me to explore some of the highlights of my career? Huh. I should do something to honor the day we had. It will probably mean a lot to you, and I love giving back to the community and my fans. I know the perfect spot for this. Okay, this is gonna be a brand new dance, okay. world premiere exclusive, never before seen anywhere. All right, all right, I'm gonna try to keep up. You better, because I'm calling this the MT. That's your name, right? Oh, I'm calling this the MP. Uh-huh. I'm so glad I checked. I don't do no beatbox, leave your feet hot, that running like a track. Whew, that was a workout. And it's up. How long do you use it take to go viral? Um, last video had a million views at 72 seconds. 72 seconds? That's crazy. I mean, I hope this one does well, too. It will. They always do. All right. Ciao. <laughs> All right, I'll see you. Who am I? Oh. <laughs> Yo, Yo, we got man. some real corn bogs in the league, for real. <laughs> Yo, what you got against TikTok, bro? Nothing if you were a teenager trying to be an influencer and peace in the NBA is disgraceful. <sighs> yeah, but I, I think TikTok's kind of fun. You would. Yeah, I know I would. That's why I said it's fun. I know that's why I said you would. Yeah. Man, shut up. OK.
What up, what up, coach? MP, we got one heck of a matchup tonight. Yeah, I know. And I can't wait to get out there and go toe-to-toe -to -toe with him, too. Well, I've been working on the whiteboard for the last couple hours. Thanks. Trying to figure out how to slow him down. All right, all right. Let me see what you got here. Pretty much you just need to outplay him. I need you to set the tone for the whole team. They're going to be taking their cues from you, and I'm really counting on you to get the upper hand in all aspects of the game. Well, you know that won't be easy, man. You're talking about one of the best players in this league. Better than you? <laughs> no. Not at all. That's what I want to hear. We know the players enjoyed the rest they get during All-Star Weekend. But, Greg, you think it should be moved till later in the season? I like how the current format splits up the season, but it, it seems more fair to hold an All-Star towards the end of the season so that voters get a more complete look at each player. And a look at the starters for San Antonio. They've got MP. Collins is out there with Johnson. And it's Bates Diop in a power forward. An emerging part of his game. Johnson's becoming a better playmaker. The San Antonio Spurs able to put the first points up on the board. Here's Gilgis Alexander. And the rejection by MP. And it's out of bounds. You're going easy on you guys. That's all it is. And here now the Thunder. It's a three-point game. Lock at six. MP against Gilgis Alexander. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for the San Antonio Spurs. Here's Wim Banyama. Rebound by Williams. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by... About one minute into the first quarter. And first time out of the game called for Oklahoma City. Playing a, a poor opponent, so no fire in that game. And that sticks with you a little bit. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. And that'll be two free throws coming Way up, officials. Play, ref. Way to let him play. As good as you could ask for, around 80% on the season. He hits both from a strike. And now, just over a minute played here in the first. MP deciding where to go with it. Fires the three. And again, it's the Spurs from deep. You know, MP's love of music and everything he's done in that industry 
it's had a huge impact on his public image. And that image might have even changed a few minds about him. In the NBA, your off-court actions, Greg, are sometimes just as important to the fans as what you do on the floor. And great job from Holmgren. I, I like when he shows confidence attacking inside. Going forward, the Thunder have a ton of draft capital for them to put a lot of first-round picks either to play for themselves. That's not a foul. Are you kidding me? Flexibility there. San Antonio shooting their first free throw of the evening. You've got to appreciate their ability to make free throws, 81% as a team. And Zach Collins is aggressive and confident and waiting for his opportunity to show just how consistently good he can be in the NBA. Now, here's Gilgis Alexander. Coming in off a 21-point game his last outing. No good off the back of the rim. And Oklahoma City with all those picks, Brent, should be interesting to see how they use them. Yeah, and that process has already started in the 22 draft. They used some of that capital to line up some players they have on their current roster. So it's really interesting at some point what it is that the front office does to say, this is our team, and this is who we're moving forward with. There's the triple. No good on that one. So the Spurs will take it the other way. Well, if he's going to keep shooting, they've got to run some plays for him. Screens, pick and rolls, anything they can do to get him started. On the wing, Johnson has to Wembanyama. Tries again. Dort grabs the miss. The defense is tough as it comes right there. He's a hard man to deny when he gets the ball to the rim. Gilgis Alexander against MP. And the pass to Holmgren. Here's Joe. And again, Oklahoma City, no good. For Oklahoma City, their last game was a loss to New Orleans. Here's Wimbanyama. And he drops it in from the low post. Wimbanyama has got 10. Working his way for a high percentage look. That's just smart basketball. And that's a, a painted possession right there, a masterpiece, especially when the defense is not a factor. He just takes advantage of the D in a way that very few players playing today can do. Pass to Collins. MP against Gilgis Alexander. Johnson wide open. He fires. Good. And the assist goes to MP. Well, they're getting a lot of their points outside the paint. Three of their last five baskets are from three-point range. Dort with the ball, and it's Johnson picking him up. Williams kicks to Gilgis Alexander. Clock at four. Takes a three. Collins grabs the miss. Collins has got four rebounds now tonight. Is it getting cold in here? This is, this is a tough one. Crucial that he starts to work a little harder for a higher percentage shot. Ren Banyama gets the bucket. And the defense looks soft early on. They've got to summon up a little more sense of urgency. And you love seeing that great mobile one drive a second time. And it's finishes like that which have helped them build this lead here in the first half. Gilgis Alexander finds Dort. Some nice passing by Oklahoma City here. Williams passes to Dort. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. Gilgis Alexander's got his second bucket of the game to go. MP against Gilgis Alexander. Ren Banyama gets the bucket. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. Thunder trailing by 12. Dort passes to Gilgis Alexander. Over MP. That doesn't go either for Gilgis Alexander. Maybe there are ways to contribute that don't involve shooting the basketball. That's the best way that maybe he can help them out trying to win this game. Dort grabs the miss. Oklahoma City's gone 0-4 from three-point land to start out. Looking cold from outside. Talking about defensive specials. How about the hustle Lou Dort shows on D? Well, this is a guy you throw out there and you say, sick him. Go guard the best player on the other team. And that's something that he takes that challenge on. Takes a lot of pride on the defensive end. And has become a very important part of this team. Now, MP. Turn around, turn around. 
After Lou Dort's three-pointer that didn't go. Wen Banyama hits the bucket. They've wasted no time settling into their offense. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. And hits one. Maybe he's ready to get back on track. Gilgis Alexander. with a fresh five on the floor. San Antonio leading by 12. Jones kicks. Be up on that. You're acting Long like you breed, want a right? title, MP. Take it easy, friends. And we're starting the second quarter, about a minute gone. Here's Gilgis Alexander. No good there. And the Spurs going the other way now. They've led by as many as 14 points. Next up for them, the Knicks coming out here to play. Let the boys play. Stop trying to take over the game. The Spurs. They've got Collins. MP is out there with Langford. Then there's Keldon Johnson. And it's Bates Diop in at the four. Now, here's Gilgis Alexander. He has six. No one on him, and he makes the easy one. He's got eight. You just don't see guys with Gilgis Alexander's size and frame all that often. He can be a special player in this league. MP dishes to Collins. In the corner, it's MP. Nailed from three-point land. Wen Banyama's got 22 points. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. Yeah, and the coach pretty smart for zoning in on him and giving him opportunities to stay with that confident play. Here's Joe. Five points in the game. Dort passes to Gilgis Alexander. Five to shoot. Oklahoma City needs to get off a shot. Dort misses. The edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. Rembanyama passes to Bates Diop. From past the arc, and again, it's San Antonio with a three. He's got a lot to do with the position that they're in a very smart offensive performance tonight from him. Up top, Gilgis Alexander, covered by MP. has been the face of the franchise the past couple seasons and his game just continues to grow. He signed all the way through 2027. Is he the first building block or is he going to develop into a player that people covet and they're going to try to pluck away? We'll see. Now here's Langford. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. On the wing Johnson. MP outside. The three. Hanson coming off an assist from Johnson. Johnson's got his third assist on the night. Now about three minutes gone in his second quarter of basketball. MP against Gilgis Alexander. Rebounded by the Spurs. And they double up MP. Outside Cowan. Johnson in the corner. Collins kicks to Langford. Shot clock at six. Unloads from 13. And there's Collins on the assist by MP. Collins has got five points so far. And here in the second quarter of action as we approach four minutes played. Gilgis Alexander against MP. The 11-footer. The shot's good from Gilgis Alexander. 12 points for him. Gilgis Alexander becoming more and more comfortable where he can score on the floor. 
And they double up MP inside. Spurs passing it around. On the wing, Johnson defended by Dort. Johnson can't get it to go. Pass to Wembanyama. Yeah, that's all you. Here's Langford. Hits it from three-point range. Langford's got his first three points of the game. Now that is encouraging. It's crucial that Langford continues to hone that outside jumper. Let's it go from 11. Here's Pokusevsky. That's what he gives you, a big-time presence on the glass. And you know what, Greg? Once he gets his hands on it, he's not even thinking about kicking it out. Oh, his competitiveness right now is why the teammates love him. Down low, Gilgis Alexander with the steal. Eleven feet away, that one good for two. They are just killing them on the interior. Spurs leading by 16. Now, here's MP. He's coming off an unbelievably high scoring game. And the basket by Johnson. A priority for Johnson continuing to work on his jumper, especially off the catch like there. Here's Joe. He's got five. Shot from free throw range. Again, Oklahoma City. It feels like the other four guys have disappeared at this point. He wants to be the one to get them back. Gilgis Alexander against MP. Misses from close range. Thunder trailing by 17. The pass to Gilgis Alexander. Doesn't go either for Gilgis Alexander. But he's not the guy that you want to give a wide open look from three point range. They're lucky that that one doesn't cost them. MP against Gilgis Alexander. Shot clock at five. MP dishes to Langford. Good, and the assist goes to MP. When Banyama's got five assists tonight. And here's Gilgis Alexander. He'll bring it up for the Thunder. They'll be off to Charlotte for a game against the Hornets. That will be a getaway game for them, a one-game road trip. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David? Well, MP in the last matchup against Utah was all business. He finished with 66 points and got there the usual way. An impressive barrage of three-pointers. He racked up big numbers in what was a really good performance. Can he carry it over tonight? We'll see, Kevin. David, we appreciate the update. Greg, we'll see if he can keep rolling here tonight. Yeah, and that's the rub. Out. When he... And some chance. the first half a pretty lopsided affair it's thanks for tuning in welcome some teams live and die by the three if i was on a team we'd live by all right guys now let's take a look at the possible dunk contest participants all these guys and that concludes. And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it has been a runaway. You look at MP in this game, guys, he has been everywhere. Yeah, the passing he brings to the table on, on full display through the first two quarters. Doing a great job of just setting guys up and demonstrating just how important ball movement can be. Lou Dort out there with Williams. Then there's Holmgren. Then there's Shea Gilgis Alexander. And it's Joe in at the two. That's the lineup in the game for Oklahoma City. Now, here's MP. After the miss from Shea Gilgis Alexander. 
here's Wim Banyama. Rebound by Williams. Thunder trailing by 20. And here is Gilgis Alexander. Jacks up a three. The rebound by Johnson. Spurs shooting has been out of this world. 74% from the field. Rembanyama passes to Bates Diop. Johnson outside. And here's MP for three. That's good, and it's Johnson with the assist. Johnson's got his fourth assist in this one. He's played a huge role in this game to this point, but it looks like he just wants more. He wants to make sure that this lead holds up. Making the most of the screen. That's how it's done. And it's in the perfect spot, Greg. Frees him up to get all the way to the bucket. Really not enough help there. Lack of communication on the backside. Here's Wimbanyama. He can't get that one to fall. Now Oklahoma City takes it the other way. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Here's Gilgis Alexander, and that's good. Lead pass to get it done. Gilgis Alexander's got four points now in the quarter. MP up top. Gilgis Alexander covering. Here's Wim Banyama. Uses the glass to finish the layup. And the Spurs lead by 21. And Matador defense. That's one of the easiest shots he is ever going to see. Yeah, feels like Christmas right now, just gift wrapping points. Now, here's George. No points in the game yet for him. I mean, sneaky. When he moves around the floor, Holmgren takes you out of the play, slips past, and just rolls to the hoop. A unique type of player. Chet with great length and skill, but the keys to reaching his potential will be durability and improving his strength. And he is really in a zone right now, playing and scoring with confidence. Oh, what an impressive dribble drive. That replay brought to you by Mobile One. And putting that pressure on the rim. That's what it's all about, threatening with that attack. Now, here's Holmgren. Looking at his point production, he averages almost 11 points a game. Here's Gilgis Alexander. And that's good. A nice job in the glass as they pick up two on the second effort. That's the 10th straight point they've given up in the paint. MP kicks to Johnson. Back to MP. There's the three. That's in there. Johnson with the assist. Johnson's got five assists tonight. A Greg Holmgren is thin, but as we both know, he's very tough. He's aggressive and willing to take contact at both ends. He's also strong mentally. Can't wait to see what the future holds for this young man. Now, here's Gilgis Alexander. He has 31. He makes it look effortless out there. for Williams. Third quarter action and just under three and a half minutes have gone. Gilgis Alexander against MP. Throw good, MP. And both free throws good for MP. And Gilgis Alexander's got the ball here for the Thunder. To the paint. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up.
Both good from the line that time. Well, Greg, we're seeing high schoolers now making six figures to play basketball. I bet you wouldn't have minded that in your time, would you? Uh, I tell you what, it beats delivering the newspaper, right? <laughs> it's still fresh and, and developing, but a lot of different opportunities are emerging. It's been this way since halftime. Tremendous production from beyond the arc. Yeah, pretty infectious right here. Guys in good spirits and percentages from downtown on the rise in the second half. So it's San Antonio now. After the miss three from Shea Gilgis Alexander. MP outside. Spurs working the ball around now. And they double up MP. Four on the shot clock. The three from Johnson. Good in the assist goes to MP. When Banyama has got six assists now in the game. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Passes it to Joe. Back to Gilgis Alexander. Now, here's Dort. To the middle. Pass to Joe. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Here's the three. Trains the three-pointer. Gilgis Alexander's got 38 points. Man, that's sure got to be a load off his mind after not hitting a single three-pointer in that first half. San Antonio leading by 23. And there's the eight-second call as they can't get it across. You can't keep this up, MP. No way. And Oklahoma City making a change here. And checked in. Then for the Spurs. Bassey's checked in. Shoot that, boy. Hey, who got him? Hey, yo, right here. On offense, here are the Spurs. On the court for San Antonio. They've got Keldon Johnson. MP is out there with Collins. And it's Bates Diop in at the power forward position. I'm not sure how he finds himself in so much space there. He's kicking himself for whiffing a bit on that one. On the wing, Gilgis Alexander. Here's Holmgren. And the dunk by Holmgren. I mean, length and skill. And Holmgren has a lot of both. MP outside. And they double up MP. The three from Johnson. Good in the assist goes to MP. Wen Banyama has got assist number seven for him tonight. Kicks to Williams. Gilgis Alexander looking around to the inside. Here's Holmgren. And the dunk by Holmgren. And I think Shea Gilgis Alexander knows that this is an assist play in the making. Finds the open man. And they double up MP. MP against Gilgis Alexander. Here's Bates Diop. And again, it's San Antonio with a three. That's a dozen straight points coming off the triple. MP against Gilgis Alexander. And it's good for two. You really got to tip your cap to him in terms of how he's played today, even if they end up losing this game. And they double up MP. Fires the three, and again, it's San Antonio with a three. And how about the last five made shots have all been threes. The defense is just giving up a barrage. Gilgis Alexander can't get it to go. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. Rembanyama passes to Bates Dia. Thunder with the rebound. Williams has got his fifth rebound in this one. Gilgis Alexander against MP. Pass to Holmgren. It's up a three. Win Banyama with the rebound. Win Banyama has got four rebounds in this game. And they double up MP. Right wing. 
Bates Diop, the pass to Wembanyama. Six on the shot clock. Kicks it out to Johnson. Dishes it to MP. For three. Good on the triple. And the Spurs lead by 21. Oh, great ball movement there. And here now the Thunder. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively for sure. Here's Gilgis Alexander. And it's good two points. Gilgis Alexander's got 42 in the game. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. And finish off by Collins. Pretty nice show of athleticism as Zach Collins rises up. Gilgis Alexander against MP. Crops in the layup for two. Gilgis Alexander's got six points in the quarter. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Here's Wimbanyama. Makes it off the glass. And haven't we seen that a few times today, guys? I mean, their defense has got to have a little bit more toughness about it. Outside, Gilgis Alexander to the middle. Williams shooting foul. As the whistle. schedule. Think the NBA will ever shorten the number of games long term and go back to that number? I, I don't know, Kevin. <laughs> Due to the competitiveness of the middle part of the season, and I think we're all for something like that, where something's on the line, and we see guys elevated in that element. MP with it. Dort covering. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. Thunder trailing by 21. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. And he goes in for the dunk. These are the type of games for Gilgis Alexander where the promise of his future looks incredibly bright. Now, here's MP. He's guarded closely. He clangs that one off the back iron. And down it falls. And the Spurs lead by 21. Here's Joe. On the wing, Gilgis Alexander. And there's another one for the Thunder. I'd like to see Gilgis Alexander continue to get more and more consistent from there. Johnson left side. Three-pointer. Good, and the assist goes to MP. Johnson's got six here in this quarter. I don't know. I'm getting the feeling as this game moves on, he's getting stronger. Joe passes to Holmgren. There's the pass to Gilgis Alexander. Again, what an avalanche. My goodness. 50 for the game. Yep, he is putting on a show. And they double up MP. Johnson kicks to MP. The shot from the low post is good. Wen Banyama has got 44. Uh, with the finish line in sight, this guy is determined to be the one to put the game away. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. And good! But there's another. And he's up to 52 points. Yeah, making a GA look all too easy right now. And they double up MP to the paint. Here's Bates Diop, and he uses the glass on the layup. Pushing the action, getting others involved. He does it time and time again. Nice to play with a point guard that takes pride in playmaking. It makes you move around just a little bit faster to get open spots. And so much great talent coming into the league, Greg, every year. That 2021 draft class in particular looks very strong absolutely anytime you got just a couple potential stars 
but from the looks of it, upwards of five, you know it's been a special grab. Joe passes to Gilgis Alexander. Williams, a screen on MP. Down low. And finished off by Williams. Well, if you don't take care of the ball, fellas, that's what can happen. Absolutely, Greg. That makes the turnover even more painful. And the gamble paying off. Called on Kenry. All right, MP. We've got 108 left to play here in the fourth. The kick out to Williams. Passes to Waters. Gilgis Alexander with it. Covered by MP. And yep. Was tonight playoff preview for you guys? It felt like you really took the intensity to the next level. Yeah, it definitely had that playoff atmosphere out there. You know, the fans were hype. The other team was really bringing the defensive pressure. And uh, we were rotating the ball looking for our shooters to get open, which they did. You know, we were really able to execute 
how coached you it up. Yeah, it looked like you were getting more comfortable with the ball in your hands. Yeah, I'm definitely learning the offense, you know. I'm learning the counters and how to respond depending on how to, what the defense is, you know, showing me. Mm -hmm. You know, but ultimately it's a team game. We all came together to get this dub. Sure did. Nice game. Congratulations on the win tonight. It looked like they had no answer for your movement on offense. How did you exploit their defense? Thanks, Candace. Yeah, you know, the most important thing is that guys on this team don't just stand around and, you know, watch and wait for the ball to get to them. You know, guys are cutting, guys are moving, going back door. And I was able to find them for some easy hoops. Yeah. Is that backup part of the playbook, or do you guys just freestyle when you see it open up? Yeah, it's definitely part of our offense, you know. We have any number of variations we can run out of sets depending on how they defend the pick and roll. So when you see a guy step up or move out of position, you know the backdoor cut is going to be there. Take it, MP. Well, we're at the time of the calendar when some teams go through a mid-season lull. Graham, what has to be done to avoid that? Well, first of all, you have to keep your composure. You cannot panic. And of course, this is when a coach earns his keep. Motivation becomes key. Keeping the players focused and making sure nobody starts coasting. And here's the starting group for the New York Knicks. At the four and the five, it's Randall and Robinson. Emmanuel quickly is out there with Derrick Rose. And it's Barrett in at the small forward position. And Wimbun Yama gets it to go. 
And now the game is really starting to flow. We should be in for a good one. How good is it to see the first one go through the net? Now here's Barrett. Quickly outside. Pass to Randall. Five to shoot. Set it up with a fake, but it's offline. MP outside. For three. Nails it from beyond the arc. MP's got five points. You don't want to let him get into a rhythm from out there. Time called here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. You know, last game... want to take the crowd out of the game easier said than done yes the other team is feeding off that enthusiasm you have to try and match that energy new york no good that time either here's san antonio now comes up empty down low mm, i'm not sure what happened on that play may have relaxed a little bit once he got to the rim randall outside Yeah, that one's good. I wonder if Randall even felt that contact so strong in the upper body. Fantastic replay we just saw of the mobile one drive. You're toasting the defense and getting in close. They'll take possessions like that one all day. Wimanyama, soft touch off the glass. MP's gotten his third basket of the night. For New York, they've gone one of four to begin this one. Quickly, outside. The three-pointer off the mark. They are out of rhythm. One for five so far. You just need to calm down and reward your matchups. Women Yama, no good. New York has gone 0 for 2 from outside. This Spurs franchise, one of the most storied in the sport. Really trying to get back to their winning ways. San Antonio leading. Good work defensively by Robinson. It's one thing to prevent the layup. It's another to do it without fouling. Just terrific defense. Pass to Barrett. Back to Rose. Beyond the arc. And again, the Knicks missing. Well, Smitty, how about the Spurs here? A short playoff drought the last few seasons. They've only missed the playoffs seven times since coming to San Antonio, B.A., including the last three years in a row. This fan base isn't used to these types of seasons. Now here's Rose. Boy, no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Here's Barrett. Kept alive. Here's Robinson. And a big finish by Robinson. Playing from behind, it's amazing he chose a dunk with that high a difficulty rating. Yeah, no question. That was a stellar move with plenty of swagger. And that replay courtesy of the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. The big story thus far, how well they've shot the rock. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. Here's Randall. For three, Barrett. Rebound San Antonio. Johnson's got four rebounds in the game. And he's having an ugly quarter from the field. And seems really frustrated. This one for three. And again, it's San Antonio with a three. And what's working here? Each guy is willing to make the next pass. Pass to Randall. Outside Barrett. Randall a screen on Johnson. Barrett passes to Randall. And here's MP. He's got 12. Here's Bates Diop. Collins with it. Robinson defending. And here's MP from outside. Ooh, making his presence felt here. He's now six for nine in this game. They've been very effective so far. A balanced attack at its best. And it's helped them build an early lead. They just need to stay aggressive. 
Now here's Randall. Count it. Two for four from the field now. Have to block out Randall. He's an absolute beast on the offensive boards. MP against Rose. Here's Limanyama. Drops in the layup for two. MP's got 17 points. You can't help but look toward their defense. <laughs> They're totally lost. Rose finds Barrett. Back to Rose. Fires from the corner. The rebound by the Spurs. First chance of the season for them to go up against this Knicks team. Yeah, they got by a team that was also struggling last season. And the Spurs with some changes. Massey, he's checked in for Collins. McDermott comes in for Bates Diop. And it's Jones in for Vassell. Quickly from outside. Pass to Grimes from behind the arc. Not going to go that time. This is the shot they wanted to get. Right guy, right spot, wrong result. MP is doubled. On the wing, McDermott. MP outside. The three. And again, it's San Antonio with a three. This defense is getting spaced out. Three of the last five buckets have come from way beyond the arc. Quickly passes to Randall. They double Randall. Here's Grimes. Oh, -ho! MP with a block. To the middle. Here's Bassey. And there's the slam dunk to finish it off. And early on, they've been on a tear. Just getting whatever they want offensively. They established the pace. They made shots. This is why they're way out in front. Quickly from outside. Fires in the triple. He's a potent mix of effort and ability. Hard to shut down a player of his caliber. MP outside. That one goes. And that's his ninth made shot in 12 attempts. When they get their opportunity to punch it inside, they don't hesitate. Randall against McDermott. Hart from long range. The shot comes out. San Antonio goes the other way with it. I love how they've attacked the boards here in the first quarter. And here's New York now. They trail by 18. Off target with the three. Here's Limbanyama. He's got 22. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Take two free throws now. Well, for the Knicks, what's it going to take to bring them back to the glory days? Question B.A. But first of all, a superstar would certainly help. They haven't really had one for quite some time. If they can either develop or attract an elite all-star player, that would be a start to turning this New York franchise around and becoming possibly a contender. Jang, he's checked in for Johnson. Here's Hart. That one falls. He's now one for three. Just owning the painted area. If it's working, no need to change. And so it's San Antonio with it. It's an 18-point game. MP right side. McDermott outside. To the wing on the left. Now here's MP. Defense is right there. Lays it up and banks it in. MP's got 26 points. Pass to Grimes. Count it. And that shot gets him in the books. He's one for three. Well orchestrated. And then the pass is right on the money. McDermott outside. Now MP. And Toppin pulls it down. 114 left in the opening quarter. Hart passes to quickly. Back to Hart from outside the arc. Rebound San Antonio. Time called here. The Spurs decide to talk it over. defense in the post. Antonio. They came out firing from deep. It's always good for a team's confidence when you can start a game that high. 
you have to like the fact that they're not settling at all. I mean, they've really made a point to get the ball down inside and challenge that interior defense. So on the floor for New York. At forward, it's Barrett and Randall. Derrick Rose is out there with Josh Hart. And it's Robinson in at the center position. Pass to Barrett. McDermott against Randall. Right side Hart. Back to Randall. Launches a three. Rebounded by Johnson. Johnson's got six rebounds now in the game. MP against Rose. They get it back. Here's Collins. And there's the bucket. Staying with it that time. Offensive glass getting it done. And this is what you want to do when you've got a big lead. You must stay aggressive. I'm impressed with their intensity tonight. They came in focused. Shots good from the strike. Getting themselves to the line this quarter is a good way to get their offense rolling. Thanks. Well, MP in their last game against the Thunder was outstanding. He ended up with 44 points and also did a lot of damage from long. He put up six. He comes. Can he do it again? Outstanding. Thanks. Impressive ability to carry his team to victory, Grant. Yeah, B.A., I was really impressed. They wouldn't have won the game if it wasn't for his attacking mindset and will to win. And that's what every player has control of, his level of activity. It allows you to impact the game even if the shot isn't falling. McDermott against Randall. Shot clock at six. Pass to Rose. Randall, a screen on MP. Back to Randall. The shot is good, and the assist by Rose. Randall's got six points in the quarter. Anytime you can get Randall moving toward the rim, that's a good thing. Here's Limanyama. Here's Bassi. And that one makes him two for two. He's in his rhythm. And I love how they're working much harder on the glass this quarter and drumming up more second-chance opportunities. Randall against McDermott. They double Randall outside Hart. Robinson a screen on Vassell. Hart. Bassey pulls it in. You like that he's still attacking, but the results tonight just haven't been there. Drills it from deep. Deep into the game, you rely on players like him to keep delivering. Pass to Hart. And he gets it to fall. Three for eight in this one. That's been the story of their offense so far. Getting a number of looks from point-blank range. Rose against MP. Yep, that one's good. MP's got 35 in the game. Playing at his tempo, his pace, he's been dialed in all night. Barrett against Johnson. Barrett passes to Randall. Foul called on the way up. What? Come on, Rev. That's a soft foul. And the range. Randall has put in the work. And Randall drops them both. And Spurs coach Greg Popovich last season moving into first all time for coaching wins, Greg. That's right, B.A. I mean, all those wins coming with one organization, the Spurs. Now, when he hangs up his whistle, he'll be in the conversation for the greatest coach in NBA history. And force feeding the ball inside. I mean, no reason to go away from what's working. Outside Hart. Rebound San Antonio. They come into this one having outplayed the Thunder in their last game. 
Oh my, talk about mental toughness. The crowd was roaring against them, but they were able to focus and finish the task at hand. It was a terrific performance we got a chance to watch. They got into a nice rhythm and made smart adjustments along the way. Riding the hot hand, and why not? If something's working, keep going to it. Outside Robinson. Randall outside. Sinks that one from the post. Randall's got 10 points now, just in this quarter. Taking things into his own hands this quarter, trying to keep his team afloat. Pass to Johnson. Back to MP. MP is doubled. Here's Vassell. And again, it's San Antonio with a three. They've had a hard time shutting down the three-point shot. MP against Rose. Randall a screen on MP. From downtown. Randall can't hit. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. He just missed it. And they double up MP. McDermott, the pass to MP. The kick out to Johnson. Launches it. Good. And the assist goes to MP. MP's got three assists in the game. Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. Barrett finds Rose. 59 seconds left in the second quarter. For three, Randall. That won't go either for Randall. You have to credit their effort. I mean, they've done an amazing job on the glass. And they double up MP. Outside Johnson. Let's go with a three. And again, it's the Spurs from deep. 12 straight points off threes. This defense is not extending very well. Rose, the pass to Barrett. Here's Randall. And the shot counts. So it's San Antonio just dominating the opposition as they maintain a 36-point advantage. Defense is... Keep playing! Exactly like this guy! Pleased to have you tune in. What better way to start than by checking out the contenders for the dunk contest on All-Star Weekend? See it every night. T and circling back to the game at hand, guys, appreciate you joining us. It's been our distinct pleasure, and I mean that. Let's now take you back over to the third quarter with Brian Anderson. Just about ready for the second half here. A big comeback is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. Spurs shooting with some fire. 66% on this one. At the two and the three, it's Vassell and Johnson. Gorgie Jang is out there with Keita bates Dio, And it's MP in at the point guard position. So that's who Greg Popovich starts the second half with. Just five to shoot. Wait to let him play, Rev. Wait to let him play. Free throw good. MP. And the Spurs making a change here. Collins checked in. And he makes both free throws. And here are the Knicks now. They've got the Rockets ahead of them next in Houston. That game will conclude the three-game road trip they're currently on. Here's Barrett. The shot is good, and the assist by Rose. Barrett's got his third bucket of the night. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. MP against Rose. Outside Johnson. Back to MP. Jacks up a three.
Hey, you've got a package from Audrey Louise Reynolds. Is it my niece's hood?
MP. What's up? My phone won't stop buzzing. My teen line sold out, and I kid you not, 17 minutes. 17 Major minutes? Major brands are calling for collabs what? all because of you. 17? I could That's kiss you. Wait, wait, oh, I don't think my girlfriend would like that part. <laughs> not but... romantically like the way I'd kiss a winning lottery ticket. Wow. Which you are. Okay. That's interesting. No, MP, you don't get it. What you did with Madison minutes. changed my life. I don't have a million dollar pro sports contract to fall so back on. Crazy. I just got my designs, and mm -hmm. until you showed up, that was pretty much all I had. That and $48 in my checking account. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is thank you. Thank you so no, much no, from no, the no, bottom no. of my heart. Thank no, no. you. Hey, hey, a I million times. I don't think I deserve all this praise. You are fantastic. Your designs are amazing. And like I said from day one, if I can do anything to help get your designs out there, I'm doing it. I know you said that, but having worked with... MP, what it do, bro? Oh, what's going on, fam? You know, I'm just here letting people know I'm out here working. Yeah, I see you. I see you holding it down. Yo, time to have some fun. That's the way to bring it. Come on, y'all. We got this.
that's a good game, yeah. my boy. Yeah, good game. You, you, you. How your boy look? My nephew's a huge J. Cole fan. Do you think you could get him tickets to his next show? I like the look, you too. Ooh, it definitely suits you. <laughs> <laughs> These shirts are everywhere. And by the way, I hear Shep is pretty salty about it. Good. Yeah. <laughs> and hopefully Audrey get the credit she deserves this time. Mm, I mean, indeed. she said that Shep ghosted her after she made the shirts. <laughs> Wouldn't even help pro promote the brand at all. I mean, it figures. Has he ever done the right thing once? Like, ever? No. Not that I'm aware of, no. So, Mila and I have been discussing next steps. Now that you've got your outfit together, it's time to wear it to one of your pre-game tunnel walks. Okay. okay. Okay? I'm gonna make sure that Nicole Ramon from Teed Up is there to ask you questions about it. Yep, and then all you have to do is talk about how awesome Audrey Louise Reynolds is. Okay. And how your incredibly sophisticated and stylish girlfriend put you under her. <laughs> I set it up then. Ashley's on it. All you have to do is show up, look, and fly. I can do that. Yes, you can. Thank you, Nicole. Thank you. You know, I have to change up just a little bit. I would say more than a little bit. <laughs> if 
That globe is real. Thank you, thank you. And I've been reading online about you, too. It seems you've gone viral of late. Yeah, well, you know, I'm, I'm a man of many talents. Clearly. <laughs> so where did this new look come from? Well, it's actually uh, Audrey Louise Reynolds. You know, she designed the MP show you've probably seen everyone rocking. Yes. But she also helped me track down some unique pieces to take my style to the next level. Okay. Well, where did this newfound interest in fashion come from? I wouldn't say it's new, but I've been into fashion my whole life, you know. But being able to achieve a certain amount of success and know the writer in the court has allowed me to collaborate with and boost, you know, designers like Audrey Louise Reynolds, you know. Fashion isn't just an interest of mine, it's something that I actively What up, what up, coach? MP, we got one heck of a matchup tonight. It must add a little extra motivation for both these teams to end the year on this New Year's Eve on a winning note. It does. I mean, but the atmosphere is special on New Year's Eve no matter what. The fans are excited. There are a lot of families in the crowd, and everyone's having fun. And the players can pick up on that energy. So let's take a look at the starters for the Dallas Mavericks. Maxi Kleba is out there with Tim Hardaway Jr. Then it's Kyrie Irving. Then it's Christian Wood. And it's Neil Aquina in at the one spot. Well, this is one of the best in the league at converting off contact. What body control by Kyrie Irving. Mbanyama passes to Sohan. For three. And he nails it. The three-pointer falls from MP. Mbanyama has got five. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. And just about a minute into the first quarter. And the whistle blows. It's his first foul of the game. Hardaway for three. A rebound by the Spurs. They are coming into this having notched a win against the Knicks in their last game. Yeah, and, and in that... Just over a minute played here in the start of the game. MP with it. The shot from the low post is good. Wen Banyama has got his third bucket of the night. And that was the mobile one drive. Well worth a second look. It's all about the ability to get two feet in the paint, whether it's creating for a teammate or for yourself. Neely Kina kicks to Hardaway. Six on the shot clock. Irving from long range. Johnson with the rebound. 
and he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. And you knew things were going south for Irving and the Nets when they couldn't agree on a contract. He was eventually traded and is a big talent boost to this team. And Kyrie still has all the talent in the world, even if it comes with some risk. Irving misses. Boy, a miss like that will drive any score crazy, especially with the defender giving a cushion. Ren Banyama gets the bucket. I'll tell you, this guy is proving to be a problem for the defense. In this quarter, he has been special. For Dallas, they've gone just one of four to get this game started. Here's Neela Kina. Yes, and it's Irving picking up the assist. How about the dribble drive move from Frank Neela Kina handling the rock comfortably? And here's MP for three. It doesn't go for him. And the Mavericks going the other way now. Tough loss coming against the Rockets in the last game they played. A rough game defensively. I mean, they lost a lot of the individual matchups, and the help was slow to rotate. I'll tell you this. If you're going to allow your opponent to make that many shots, you have got to be as solid on the offensive end, and clearly they were not. Dallas keeping it alive. A fresh 14. San Antonio leading by seven. And they double up MP. A three ball. And the basket by Vassell. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Here's Neil Aquino. He's averaging around five and a half points a game. Right away, no good. San Antonio with the ball. They're on a 14 to 4 run. MP finds Collins. MP, that's for two. He climbs that one off the back iron and down it falls. 13 points for MP. Irving passes to Wood. Sinks it. What range from outside. Wow. Whether making plays for himself or his teammates as he did there, Kyrie Irving, a dynamic playmaker. The pass to Johnson. The three from MP. That one falls. Coming off the Johnson feet. Johnson's got his third assist on the night. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. David. Thanks, Kevin. Greg Popovich and I did speak a few minutes ago. This will be the first game this season against this team. He knows they're great rim protectors, but he doesn't want his guys to back down. He told them... Push the action. Stay confident. You may get one sent back. Don't let that deter you at all. So, Kevin, they're going to keep trying to be aggressive all day. Thank you, David. Yeah, they've got the work cut out for them for sure. Putting up points in this defense, Greg will be tough. I like, though, that they've identified the key issue. They're not shying away from it. They know it's going to be difficult to score. I think regardless of your initial approach, they know this is a game that's going to be about adjustments. There is a tactical advantage to be gained. You just have to find it. And Collins has got the ball here for the Spurs. Leading by 12. MP kicks to Johnson. Here's Sohan. And again, it's the Spurs from deep. Crushing it right now. They've done an excellent job of spacing the floor. And what surprises me is the defense hasn't done anything to take away that three-point shot. That has been their preferred weapon tonight. And that one, good. Irving's got six. Kyrie Irving getting to that mid-range scoring ability. Sometimes it's the only shot available. MP right side. That's number nine to fall. He's only taken ten shots. They've been excellent so far coming in with a well-balanced attack on the offensive end it feels like they're getting the shots they want and defensively they are connected and on a string the shot by Kleba wide open the three-pointer no good got a piece of it and it's out of bounds the Spurs able to retain possession here they got very full This MP. San Antonio leading by 18. So with Irving on the bench, 
Here's the five for Jason Kidd right now. And Aquina out there with Green. Then it's Christian Wood. Then there's Tim Hardaway Jr. And it's Kleba in at the four. Boy, what a season 2022 was for the Dallas Mavericks, making it all the way to the Western Conference Finals. Obviously, the huge upset over the Suns turned that season into what was a dream run early in Luka Doncic's career. Now, MP after Tim Hardaway missed from long range. And here's MP for three. That's in there. Johnson with the assist. Johnson's got his fifth assist in this one. And the Mavericks with possession here. And with the Mavs, a trip doors to the conference finals puts them ahead of schedule, many people think. Yes, Kevin, but I don't think you can let that momentum you built last year fade in any way. You've got to keep your foot on the gas pedal. We know how fragile success in the NBA is. You've got a top five player on your roster. You have to make sure you're taking advantage of opportunities. And the basket by Johnson. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. Now here's Green. Nine points last game out. The 11 footer. That one off the back iron and out. The edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. Here's Wimbanyama. Makes it off the glass. Wimbanyama has got eight points here in this quarter. Well, this guy flat out carrying the load for them offensively. He is taking and making good shots. What a terrific job. Neely Kina passes to Green. Here's Neela Kina, covered by MP. Misses that one, his first miss of the night, two for three. Goes up on the wing, and it's San Antonio with another. And the jump shot has been a dimension of this game where they've had a clear advantage. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Here's Hardaway. And he can't stop the run as he misses. The Spurs have gone a sensational 5 of 5 from the field since the start of the second quarter. From the baseline. Pass to Graham. Let's the three fly. And again, it's the Spurs from deep. And the D has gotten a little bit laxed here defending the triple. Kleba with a screen on Graham. The drive by Green. Rebounded by the Spurs. Sohan's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Here's Wimbanyama. Kleba with the rebound. Dallas has gone 0-2 from deep here in the second. Moment here now for an injury report. Hey, Kevin, I chatted briefly with the head athletic trainer for San Antonio. He told me that it's a sprained knee, and while he is in extreme pain right now, he appears to have escaped without suffering any tears. It's unfortunate timing all around for them. Of course, they will need to band together while he's out. We'll see how they respond. Kevin? Okay, Dave, thanks. Sounds like uh, he won't be out for too long. Neely Kina kicks to Kleba. To the inside. Here's Neely Kina, covered by MP. And in the last decade... Teams that switch well tend to defend well because switching can create mismatches, but it's harder to punish those now with all the help defense. Frank Nielakina brings outstanding size to the position. It's about playing with confidence and playing under control on the offensive end. Uh, two trays now in the second quarter after he hit one in the first. Nielakina looking it over. Pass to Hardaway. Would a screen on Johnson. Here's Hardaway. Again, the miss by the Mavericks. Well, they've been better than good on the glass today, and there is a glaring discrepancy between these two teams in that area. Hardaway with the steal. Passes it to Neely Kina. On the wing, Green. to the paint after two misses to start the game he's on the board with that shot made 
Well, the Belgian native with the nice dime, Frank Nilakina, getting better as a distributor. Out to the wing. Three pointer, Graham. Here's the pass to Sohan. Johnson outside. MP outside. Lock at six. San Antonio needs to get off a shot here from outside the arc. Mavericks with the rebound. They're getting their first look of the season at San Antonio in this one. And they were unbeaten against this club last season. Not surprising considering where they both finished in the standings. Well, they're more talented, more accomplished at this point. But you can't rely on that and start taking place. Job of J So it's the San Antonio Spurs finishing the quarter up by a whopping 24 points. The scoring has been tremendous, and they are shooting lights out with very high accuracy. Don't go anywhere. We'll... Hey, folks. Nice group of shooters. I would know. Can you imagine if I played today? I'd be a stretch five. You know what, Shaq? I think that you're talented enough to say, I'm going to be a three-point shooter. Well, thank you, sir. All right, and shifting gears to our current matchup, it's been a rough one so far for the Mavericks. That'll do it for our show tonight. And we're getting back to the action in our New Year's Eve broadcast. You look at MP in this game, guys, he has been everywhere. Yeah, he's just been raining down on them from deep here. You talk about dialed in. Well, the break certainly didn't have a cooling effect on him at all. He's in a great rhythm, looking comfortable and confident. Sharing the wing spots, it's Vassell and Johnson. Then it's MP. Then it's Collins, and it's Sohan in at the power forward position. And that's who's in the game for the Spurs. And now we've got some time to check in from the sidelines. What do you got for us, D.A.? Well, MP in the last matchup against New York was outstanding. He had 42 points, and he got those points as he always does, knocking down shots from beyond the arc. The stat line was filled, and the whole league is talking about it. We'll see what he does for an encore tonight, Kevin. Thanks for the report, D.A. Great, phenomenal effort by him in that last game. He willed the team to victory through his talent and through that competitiveness. Let's give credit to his teammates for continuing to find this guy. They knew he had the hot hand, and they were willing to ride it all night long. A little over a minute gone here in the second half. Greg, Devin Vassell came in as a 3 and D type player, but he's grown beyond that. He has added secondary ways to contribute on offense. Still, not a great shot creator, but can finish plays in a variety of ways to help his team. Nailed from three-point land. 12 straight points off of three-pointers, and the D looks chill shot. Kleba finds Irving. Rebound by Johnson. Johnson's got four rebounds in this game. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. And it's Vassell in the corner. And here's MP for th good. He hits again. Once again, he's reached the 40-point mark as there has been no slowing him down all season. Well, G.A., with all these 40-point performances, he's close to matching the mark for third most 40-point games in a single year. Well, we haven't seen this many 40-point games in a long time. He is close to matching his airness. Michael Jordan, who scored 40 points an incredible 37 times back in 87. Here's Nilakina. 11 points in the game. And on the way from Irving for three. No matter what looks they get, they just can't convert to stop this run. 
And I think you can start to feel their frustration mounting. With every missed bucket, it becomes more and more desperate. For Dallas, they've got a paltry 0 of 6 to begin the third quarter. What a terrible start to the half. Here's Nilakina, covered by MP. Outside Hardaway. Pass to Wood. It's stolen by Johnson. And a fast break now for the Spurs. And the basket by Vassell. An emerging part of his game. Johnson's becoming a better playmaker. Outside Irving. Third quarter of basketball here in just a little under three and a half minutes gone by. It's all about the defense right there. Without that level of activity, he probably scores it. Here's Wimbanyama, and he uses the glass on the way. Wimbanyama has got 47 points. Well, they're calling his number time and time again, and he is delivering. Kleba sets the screen for Irving. That's good from 17 feet away. And, and boy, what a much-needed bucket there. Ends a 16-0 run by San Antonio. And they double up MP. Johnson kicks to MP. And Tim Hardaway picks one up. And guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for the Spurs? The three-pointers and how well they're able to shoot them. You wonder if they can keep it up, and boy, have they. I think another thing that's striking here tonight, the ball movement is incredible. Again and again, they're making smart passes to ready shooters. Boy, what a nightmare quarter for this guy. He's playing right into the hands of the defense at this point. MP right side. Pass to Sohan. And here's MP for th again. What an avalanche. And the 50-point games continue to add up for him. Well, every game takes him closer to the next benchmark. Next up, second place all time. And Wilt had 30 games of 50 points or more back in 1963. And that number gets closer and closer with games like this. Well, the key there is Kyrie Irving did a great job setting up his defender on the pick and roll, and it led to the score. MP outside. And they double up MP. Johnson finds MP. He takes it in. That's in coming off an assist from Johnson. Wayne Banyama has got 54 points. Outside Irving. Shoots from the elbow. Puts up a three. Neela Kina can't hit. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for San Antonio. Just four points. That's all they've given up here in the second half. Mbanyama. And the dunk by MP. Boy, you have to be impressed with the offensive production. They have got it firing on all cylinders. And at this point, it is their game to lose. They've done such a good job building the lead. Dallas has gotten blank from three-point land so far in the third. Still 0 for 3. Here's Nilakina. 11 points in the game. Outside Hardaway. Off target with his three. Oof, this has been brutal. I mean, he still hasn't made a single shot. No wonder they're struggling. MP looking around. Can't hit from in close. Boy, surprised he missed that. The defense just good enough to prevent that bucket. Passes it to Kleba. Going inside, banked in off the glass. Kleba's got his first two points. Well, everyone's seeking those high percentage looks in the restricted area. Changing it up here.
Now, MP. What an incredible scoring display he has put on tonight. Misses from close range. Dallas shooting just 39% from the field, struggling to find that net. To the middle, here's McGee, an easy two points on the layup. Well, so great when your offense produces a shot that close to the rim. The rest of the work becomes easier. Now, here's MP. He's guarded closer. They're three for three. And looking at the numbers this season, they're shooting a robust 82% from the line. That's about as good as it gets. And both free throws. Yo, you see your man MP's legendary fit? He looked like he stole his mama's credit card <laughs> and went on a shopping spree in 1997. <laughs> no, he looked like a clown. That's an insult to clowns. Uh, yeah, you're right. Clowns be having some... What up, what up, coach? MP, we got one heck of a matchup tonight. Man, I know.
and a little deeper into the season now, the depth of some teams already being tested, Richard. Yeah, there's a lot of injuries popping up right now. It's tough to establish a rhythm when the guys are being shuffled in and out of the lineup. And truly, to power through, you just need strong leadership. Here's the starting group for the San Antonio Spurs. At the two and the three, it's Vassell and Johnson. Then it's MP. Then there's Zach Collins. And the Player of the Month awards announced recently. MP taking the honor for the second time this season. It's really impressive. I mean, when you win that award twice in the same year, you are well on your way to making a case for MVP. Now here's Bridges. A dependable player on offense, giving them over 13 a game. It's stolen by Johnson. MP outside from downtown. After missing his first attempt, now one for two. I love it. Just thumbing his nose at the height disadvantage. He's able to get the space he needs and convert. And you know it takes skill for you to get your shot up over a bigger guy. Little giant killer. That's impressive stuff. Brooklyn calls timeout. But they struggled from the line. It's so hard to win that way on someone else's floor. Yeah, missing from the line became contagious. That happens. They just pick the worst time to do it. Here's Claxton. He had a 15-point outing in their last game against Charlotte. Just four to shoot. Screen by Claxton. And here's Dinwiddie from the arc. It's hauled in by Wimbanyama. Rebound Brooklyn. And going against San Antonio, their first meeting of the year. Last year, they made easy work of this club, sweeping the two-game season series. These guys are looking forward to this year now, putting last season behind them. Now here's Dinwiddie. Last game for him, he picked up 13. From deep, Johnson. And again, no good by Brooklyn. The Spurs have gone one for three so far. When Cam Johnson went 11th overall in the 2019 draft, most draft experts were shocked, slating him to go late in the first. But Cam's proven those pundits wrong. And that's what they want to do. Get him open looks early. Pass to Dinwiddie. Screen by Claxton. Out to Bridges. Dinwiddie with it. And again, it's the Nets missing. Well, for Cam Johnson, he was incredible during the 2021 playoffs, Richard. How about Cam's shooting numbers going 50, 40, 90 for the entire playoffs? 70% from the field in the conference finals. Unreal for a three-point shooter. A key part of that Suns finals run. Here's O'Neal. And again, no good by Brooklyn. Dinwiddie against MP. About three minutes gone here in the first quarter. Launches a three. And again, it's San Antonio with a three. Well, the big news for MP coming off the court. He has just inked a brand new shoe deal. And I heard MP had some choice on who to sign with, but ultimately went with Under Armour. Felt they matched his style best. Now here's Dinwiddie. His numbers are solid, putting up around 18 points a game. To end the drought. The shot misses. San Antonio goes the other way with it. To the middle with the 10-footer. Again, the Spurs score. You know you're doing something right when you find yourself up double digits in the first period. They were ready to roll right through the tip. There was no warm-up period. There was... Substitution here for Brooklyn. Ben Simmons is checked in for Claxton. Finney Smith comes in for O'Neal. Thomas, he's checked in for Johnson. And it's Curry in for Dinwiddie. Simmons, the pass to Curry. Bridges outside. Simmons with a screen on Jones. Curry's shot is off. San Antonio has gone three of three from outside and looking sharp here in the first. And they double up MP over to the wing. From deep, 
And again, it's San Antonio with a three. And what's working here, each guy is willing to make the next pass. Pass to Thomas. Curry, a screen on MP. Shot from 16. The rebound by the Spurs. MP's got four rebounds now. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Crosses over. Oh, and the dunk by MP. So far, they're owning both ends of the floor. We'll see if they can keep this going. They came out and bum-rushed them. Huge difference in activity level from both teams tonight. Here's the break. McDermott, the pass to MP. The three knocks down the triple. MP's got 17. They've been very well-rounded and extremely focused. Yeah, not just an impressive showing on offense, but on defense as well, executing their game plan perfectly. After this. And if you're just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but plenty of time left for a comeback. All right, a look at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for the Spurs. On the court for San Antonio here in the second. They've got Gorgie Jang, Doug McDermott out there with MP, and it's Jones in at the point guard position. Thanks. Well, MP in their last game against the Mavericks just played phenomenal. He ended up with 58 points and was on point from deep. A Hall of Fame level performance the whole league is talking about now. It was a masterpiece. Guys? Thanks, Allie. Absolutely. He was a one-man show in that one, Grant. Yeah, he was not going to let them lose that game. We'll see if he comes in with that same mentality tonight. And I'll be interested to see if the opposition looks to double him because this should open up opportunities for his teammates to get going. And they're plus five on the boys after that rebound. The people upstairs in Brooklyn have been making some very interesting moves trying to put together a championship caliber team. To the paint. Here's Simmons. And slam dunk by Simmons. A sensational app. Changes for Brooklyn. Now a timeout called by San Antonio. And here's MP from outside, on target from range. MP's got 20. Even with all the threes he nailed in the first quarter, the defense still hasn't made the proper adjustments. Pass to Thomas to end the run. The shot no good. So the Spurs will take it the other way. And after this game wraps up, they're off to New York to take on the Knicks. That'll be the second of two games on the road. And here's MP from outside. And it's Thomas with the rebound. Brooklyn has gone just one of five so far this quarter from three. Now Dinwiddie. Outside Finney Smith. Three-pointer Bridges. Rebound San Antonio. They come into this one having outplayed the Mavericks last time out. Talk about strong offensive production. They went out, played to their strengths, and were successful as a result. And no team is going to shoot 50% every night, but this team has the right approach. When the shots are falling, they can light it up. And so the San Antonio Spurs. Hello, everybody. What I like, they're sticking to their game plan. They aren't deep. And next up, we have the award winners, our Players of the Month in the East. And that is going to do it for us. Let's. Just about ready for the second half here. A big comeback is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. You know, some have said those old school power forwards. Guys like
MP, I can't thank you enough. Everyone is talking about the shirt. Other players are hitting me up for custom designs. Really? Yeah. Well, don't forget about me when you become famous. I could now. never. <laughs> are you sure? No. <laughs> nah, it's, it's, it's really, really cool to see you thriving. And to see my t-shirts all over the city, that's super cool. Thank you. Thank you, man. A little narcissistic, but I get it. Hey, I'm not perfect. <laughs> I mean, the good news is we're sold out for weeks. We're back ordered. Everyone in town wants one for the playoffs. All we have to do is get a few supply chain issues ironed out, and we are so good to go. Let's go. I'm oh, so gee, excited, man. You, you, you did a heck of a job, oh, seriously. Thank and you. And I only helped out. It was all you and your design, so thank you. Thank you, but you had something to do with it. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, Professor Shield. Hey, you enjoy the game? It was very impressive, and not just the game. Audrey, how are you? I'm good, Professor, thanks to MP. Oh, no, uh, listen, it was a mutually beneficial collaboration. It well, wasn't all me. to be honest, I love what you two are doing together. In fact, Audrey, would you be interested in being a guest judge at the upcoming Student Spring Fashion Show? I mean, it's always great to have a former winner at the...